Let's start by assuming that 1 minus x is equal to y, which implies that x is equal to 1 minus y. Now as x tends to 1, y tends to 0, and therefore the given limit can be written as limit y tending to 0, y times tan of pi upon 2 times 1 minus y. This is equal to the limit as y tends to 0, y times tan of pi upon 2 minus pi times y upon 2. Now tan of pi upon 2 minus an angle is equal to cot of that angle and therefore the given limit is equal to limit y tending to 0, y times cot of pi y upon 2. This can be rearranged as limit y tending to 0, y times cos of pi y upon 2 divided by sine of pi y upon 2. Now multiply and divide the denominator by pi upon 2. Notice that in the denominator, sine of pi y upon 2 divided by pi y upon 2 tends to 1 as y tends to 0. And in the numerator, cos of pi y upon 2 tends to 1 as y tends to 0. Therefore, the value of the given limit is equal to 1 upon pi upon 2, which is equal to 2 upon pi, which is the required answer.